Hi, it's Ralphina. This is prayer number four for July 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. This is for our men ages 26 to 40. We pray that our men be filled with strength, power, soundness of mind, and that they assume the leadership role as provider and protector for those that share their lives. We pray no demonic entry through witchcraft, sorcery, or transference of spirits enter any gate, the eye gate, the ear gate, the nose gate, the mouth gate, or the touch gate to the souls of our men. We pray that our men be responsible stewards of the lives they affect. We pray that our males overcome depression, sadness, isolation, and the, they reject suicidal thoughts due to feelings of hopelessness and despondency, brokenheartedness, or disappointment. We pray they hold themselves accountable to high standards of character. We pray our men's desire, reputation of consistent integrity and honor for themselves and for others. We pray that they fear no man's opinion, obey God's will, and cause their yea to be yea and their nay to be nay. We pray that they will be responsible guards of the gates of their own soul. They'll have to keep control of what happens, their eyes, their ears, their, their nose, their mouth, their touch, and their mind. We have to help our men be stewards of their own soul. We pray that they study the word of God to show themselves approved of the knowledge that God wants to impart to them. We pray they create no burden for someone else to bear. We pray they create no problem for someone else to solve. We pray they do no evil and they cause no pain. We pray they police their own souls, lest it be sold for 30 pieces of silver. We pray they make no alliances with evil or alternate lifestyles or inordinate affections. We pray they uh, not be in bondage to any man or addicted to anything. Nothing can hold our men in addiction. We pray that lust and sex not be their compass. We pray that greed not be their counsel. We pray no lethargy, no unproductiveness or vagabond spirit attach itself to our men. We pray they are fervent prayers and that they learn to pray and love to give and receive love. See you next time. It's Ralphina.